you know, working for um, your bosses, the traditional owners? You know, what are some of the things that you've had to learn and some of the knowledge? I know you're early in your journey, but you think you're going to have to acquire. What are you going to do to equip yourself? Yeah, I think uh, these two guys answered that really. Uh, so much around relationships, uh, understanding where that power lies. Um, I, I kind of always uh, feel that my role is very much facilitator. That, that, that's what we we'll do around process. Uh, I feel respected around that as well. In many ways, maybe in some ways, it's easier for me. I don't get the family stuff at, at all, obviously. Um, but also it's like an independent person on a board. So there's kind of, there'll be discussion, robust discussion around the table. And then sometimes they'll look to the non-Indigenous person just to say something. Uh, it's independent. It's not, uh, don't have any skin in the game around, I'm, I get no benefit from any decision around that table. And so in many ways it, it, it can be a little bit easier. Of course, what I miss out on is the deep understanding of the politics and the relationships and, and so I'm always, uh, I made some notes here about uh, uh, coming into the role early is really about listening very hard, uh, understanding the rich history, you start to get a sense of the journey uh, for the corporation I'm particularly with, some of the people I've reconnected with after nearly, nearly 20 years, I, I was the principal of the school in Onslow and some of the people on the board were parents at the time and they had started that journey to fight for native title back then. So I've disappeared overseas, I've been back and overseas and back and I find you know nearly 20 years later now finally it's here. So you know understanding the journey that, that, that they've been on uh, uh, puts what I've done just to shame that it's incredible. Uh, and when you talk about you know, traditional country, of course, it's, it's uh, that deep connection. So it's really very, very spiritual and important and family and, and so on. Um, so for me, it's, it's understanding the group. And of course, I always have to explain when you are overseas about uh, this term Aboriginal, you know, that it's like some one, you know, homogenous, <laughs> you know, so or the whole thing about each group is different. So Bunjima, um, I'm learning about Bunjima. I know a bit about Walker Jonka, and I know a bit about uh, Bunaba, and I know, you know, from the Kimberleys and Nanadara, and then this is now Bunjama. So you don't apply exactly the same things. There's this very specific things that I have to learn about in, in terms of uh, interactions, uh, protocols, um, and seeking advice always. And, and thank goodness I've got some fantastic people on the board who are always, hey, you're not on your own, you're welcome to, to call any time. Um, the other thing I'm learning as well is, is just around that, the pressure that we all get uh, anyway. It doesn't mean I don't get lobbied. Uh, <laughs> you get lobbied. So I find a lot of intelligence one-on-one, -on -one, learning things, but don't get caught in making <laughs> commitments. Uh, so any decision-making, always bring it back to the group, back to the board, and they can, and it, it sits there. That's where the decision-making is. And of course, uh, as Wayne was saying, that, that separation uh, from, from board and also, you know, the, the place of elders and ensuring that that's a key part of all of that decision making. I've certainly learned about that. That's a great point about bringing it back to the board and in the context of high end, um, high impact decisions back to the community for a community decision. That was again another learning for me, you know, it wasn't about the facts and the stats in the paper because there would often be unintended consequences of some of those decisions that the community had to had to name. I think the other, in what you've just demonstrated is a humility, Greg. Uh, when we talk about independent advisors, and, and again, you know, through some of the work that Tridio's done, we've had some very well-meaning people who've had rich corporate credentials to offer, but have often, well, have sometimes imposed a perspective rather than trying to learn, to understand, to get to know the community first. So I think that's something that I know we've got some aspiring um, perspective or potential directors in, in the audience. So I wanted to make that point um, because there is that learning. And the other thing, you know, my humble experience was a bit like yours, searching, at, searching for people who could be a cultural mentor to me so who was going to teach me what I needed to know to do my job but with that degree of, of, of insight. 